Hello again and welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jerry Tan and thank you again for subscribing and for listening to some of these videos on health as well as issues regarding medications including vitamins which we're going to continue discussing today. Uh, this is part of the, one of the questions of my subscribers regarding the benefits of multivitamins and whether it has health benefits or not. And this time I thought of going through with a specific vitamin called vitamin C, which has always been, if you ask my patients what supplements they're taking, almost always there's vitamin C. The question is, they use this as part of their regimen in anybody either to prevent colds or as a treatment for colds. Now, do you think this is a fact or do you think this is a myth? So let's look at the facts on vitamin C. We all know that vitamin C is a very important vitamin. It is also an antioxidant and that is used in a lot of things in the body, including the maintenance of bones, muscles and blood vessels. In fact, vitamin C is a very important component or it is important in assisting the formation of the most important protein in the body, which is collagen, which is important for skin, for blood vessels. Furthermore, vitamin C helps in the absorption as a very important element in the body, which is iron. Because if you have iron deficiency, you have anemia, and therefore you cannot function properly. So these are some of the important functions of vitamin C in the body. But the best way to get vitamin C is through natural way, because it's found in vegetables and in fruits. And we all know that part of our balanced meal should actually be a 30 to 5 servings of fruits and vegetables. And if you have to look at fruits that are rich in vitamin C, it's almost always oranges or other citrus foods. Now, the benefits of vitamin C, for me, it's like a grandmother's tale. It has been propagated from generation to generation so that kids have to take vitamin C to prevent colds. And if you have colds, you are asked to take a lot of vitamin C. Now, at the very far first sign of cold symptom, this is almost always true to all. Many people reach for vitamin C, whether in the form of supplements, juices, of course, or other tablets. Now, this scenario where vitamin C has been touted as a cure for colds was uh, made as early as the 1970s. In fact, this is nothing new because it has been there from generations to generation. But despite its widespread use, at the present time, there continues to be little proof that vitamin C can actually cure a common cold. So let's look at some data on vitamin C used as a cure for colds. The best study I can look at is the July 27, 2007, that looked at 200 milligrams of vitamin C, and they checked whether the use of vitamin C can reduce the frequency, duration, and severity of the cold. And when they reviewed 60 years of clinical research, when you take vitamin C at the start of a cold, it did not make the cold shorter, or it did not make the cold less severe. The best they can look at the data was there was a very slight shortened duration of the cold. Meaning, when you look at the acute illness phase of a viral infection, at best, when you take vitamin C, there is 8% speedier recovery, equivalent to a 13 hour sooner of feeling better during 
a typical seven-day illness. Is it worth taking the tablet or is it worth taking just natural foods? In short, at worst, most studies demonstrate no benefit of vitamin C as a cure for colds in most studies that we've reviewed. Now, the studies also on using vitamin C, because we also want to use vitamin C to reduce the risk of a viral infection. Now, this has been the, uh, very common during the COVID-19 era, because COVID-19 is a virus, and therefore we want to load ourselves with vitamin C, hoping to reduce our risk to get the infection. If you look at the most convincing evidence to date, on vitamin C in preventing a viral infection or a cold is in 2013 review of 29 randomized trials. Randomized trials is the best way to look at studies with more than 11,000 participants. And you know what they found? That the general population, when vitamin C is taken daily, it did not reduce the risk of getting cold. Meaning, even if you combine vitamin C with zinc, so far, if you look at studies on zinc and reduction in risk of infection and colds, it has not also shown any benefit. What's more with regard to zinc is the toxicity beyond those taking the amounts of vitamins, uh, amount of zinc beyond what you normally get from a multivitamin is also a definite risk. So you're adding additional risk by taking a chemical that actually has not been proven to cure or to prevent a disease. So what's my advice to all of you? This is, has always been my advice to my patients, which I want to share with you. But it's still better to get vitamin C from food. It's part of your daily fruit and vegetable menu because when you get vitamin C from fruits, you also get the other important nutrients. We also continue to recommend that you eat the recommended balanced meal of five servings of fruits and vegetables per day solely for your general health because by doing so, you already get what is recommended vitamin C allowance for the day. Remember, if you also take fruits and you also take vitamin C supplements above 400 milligrams, vitamin C is then excreted in the urine. So it's a waste. It will not be stored in the body. It will just be excreted in the urine. You acidify the urine so that greater vitamin C amount results in formation of kidney stones. On top of it, without you realizing it, you're taking too much vitamin C, it may actually be responsible for some of your GI upset stomach, like nausea and diarrhea. So the bottom line is simple. Just like my conclusion regarding multivitamins, there's a growing body of evidence that taking multivitamins, in this case, vitamin C, has little or nothing to offer in terms of health benefits. So why take them? Second, vitamin C per se does not at all improve outcome for colds, whether we're giving it as a cure or you're giving it as prevention. And therefore, overall, there's no benefit. The results of the study so far are quite clear. I am here to summarize it all. I hope I have convinced you that studies are clear and consistent, that supplements, any multivitamins, even vitamin C is of no approved therapeutic benefit. When you look at your bottles of vitamin C or multivitamins for that matter, and there is a statement like this one, no approved therapeutic claims. Again, just like my warning in my multivitamin series, beware, 
because it simply means what you're taking as a vitamin C as a proof to prevent colds or as a cure for colds is of no benefit because there's no proof that it works. So if you like my videos, uh, please click subscribe and the notification bell to be notified for new videos. Again, I would like to thank uh, my subscribers and all of you who have not yet subscribed, but always stay tuned to my new videos. Thank you. And I hope you will soon subscribe to my videos so you can be updated of the new videos that I'm uploading all the time. Please also click on some of the links that I've put there for my previous videos, which you may not have listened yet. Again, thank you very much for making me part of your journey toward better health. Again, I'm Dr. Jerry Tan, and God bless. Thank you.